How to instantly increase your self-worth? This is a question and an experience that I've been through lately. And self-worth, for me, the definition is that how much you value yourself, how much you love yourself when there's no one else around and you kind of feel lonely. If you always felt lonely and if you've always felt that you're not good enough by just being, this is problematic. And this is kind of the realization I've been through now that for most of my life that I remember, I've felt that I'm not good enough on, on some level. It's a horrible idea. It's, it makes life kind of painful because you're always searching for the next thing for the validation that you're good enough okay if i do this then i'm good enough if i if i make this amount of money i'm good enough or if i achieve this thing i'm good enough but i'm 37 now and if i haven't felt that i'm good enough yet by looking for stuff i realized there has to be another way there has to be another way to feel that you're good enough. And this is when I, like, I've gone through a lot of meditation. I went to a chakra healer and, and a lot of stuff starts to come up. And I realized that I didn't feel good enough because I was trying to impress my mother and, and get the validation from that. Also because my father died very instantly when I was four. So I kind of had only one support and uh, I don't blame her. I, I understand the situation on a logical level, but I still feel and I know how I feel inside that I'm, I'm not worthy. When I think about it, it, it also seems like it's a... Uh, it's a generational thing that goes back many generations and, and the feeling of unworthiness is present in my linear, lineage, I, I don't know the word, but you know, the, the family line. So one idea that has helped me to get clarity about this and, and to kind of understand this is that when you're born, you are accepted as a baby you don't need to do anything it's not like oh the baby didn't do the dishes so today i'm gonna yell at the baby because they couldn't do it and and actually we are the same babies that we were when we were just tiny it's it's just another moment in 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 time so we are the same but the conditioning of the system and the school and and how we're brought up makes a lot of us feel that we're not enough like if you take a three days off it's like you can't do that you have to go to work you have to make money you have to do all this stuff otherwise it's like you can't exist but actually when you let go of that and especially like money and and running and that and you realize it's like you're still alive. You can still breathe. It's like, what? There has to be something wrong. And for me, it's been like, you have to take care of your finances. That's like the, the only thing you need to do is take care of your finances. But on a deeper level, what is money? And, and actually money is just printed more and more and more. And it's like kind of the whole value thing is a little bit sketchy but I'm not gonna go deeper into that now but essentially if you put your your self-worth attach it to money I think that's a really toxic thing and, and that's something that has been portrayed on me that if if you don't have a lot of money you're not worth anything but we are actually everyone is worth the same amount because life itself is worth that your breathing is enough. Once I started to get back into the moment and kind of just live right here, right now, 
and slow down, forget about the things I have to do, life becomes somewhat magical because there's so much information around us all the time and there's so many possibilities. But if we keep running towards one single thing that we think is going to be the savior, we fail to see all the beauty and all the magic that is happening right now. And, and this has been like the biggest thing for me that once you stop and you're like, Wow, I see birds. Oh, the architecture is really interesting. That's when things start to change. And I've been in this kind of experience and mindset a lot of times before, but that's usually by doing some kind of drugs or, or alcohol or just manipulating my own self to be able to be present. But once I understood that you can actually do it by controlling your mind and, and uh, going deeper into your own beliefs. That's when you become free. Because when you think about it, there isn't anything else than this moment right now. And there's endless possibilities. Your brain, your mind, your conscious mind only process a certain amount of data. So if you look at this way, you, you can kind of see that. But if you quickly turn, you can, you're going to get a totally different data set and totally different opportunities. But if you run like this and you just go, and, and this is actually why they put these blinds on racehorses so that the horse only can see forward because the racehorse's only purpose is to race as fast as possible and this is what the system and uh, how we're brought up we kind of are forced to have these blinds and and it's kind of like once you stop and you're like oh i'll just remove this and you're just like wow how many things have i missed during this time when i'm just running and because you keep on running because you think that running is gonna give you self-worth. That's like, that was the thing for me. I thought that if and when I become this successful, when I have this much money, when I have this and that, then I can feel worthy. Then I can be like, yes, but it hasn't happened. It still hasn't happened by running. And if it has, if I reach a goal, that's like, yes, this is what's going to make me worthy. And it's like three minutes. And then it's like, oh, okay, now I need to have the next goal. It's like, you need to have the next fix. It's like, it's the same as being addicted to a drug, being addicted to looking for worthiness. And once you understand that the only place you can find your own worthiness is by going inside and accepting yourself. You're not going to get it from your mother, your sister, your brother, your partner, your children, none of them. And this has been the biggest like mind blown when I understood that I have to become my own best friend. And I've always known that okay, you, you're born alone and you die alone. That's like the, the mentality I've had. And uh, I understood it on a logical level. But once you start feeling it and you go in and be like, oh, what do I want to do? How do I want to live my life? And uh, what kind of boundaries do I want to put? Once you stop looking for outside validation, you stop looking for acceptance that's when you're able to even draw boundaries because if you just look for acceptance how could you draw some boundaries it's impossible because this limiting belief overrides everything and and you you kind of just keep on running towards something that's never gonna end it's like the the carrot that's hanging here but you will never get it it's like wow so 
I feel an obligation to share these experiences and, and how I've overcome this. And once you understand that when you sit completely still and quiet, you are enough. And once you start talking to yourself that I am enough and say it out loud, you can look in the mirror and be like, I love myself. I am enough. Even if nobody else accept me or anything, I know that I have good intentions and I am enough. And it's so liberating. Even now it's like I have goosebumps just saying that. So the power of words are super strong and how much you respect yourself because the crazy thing and the paradox like most things in life is that when you start respecting yourself that's when other people start respecting you you've thought that only by doing this 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 they're gonna respect you but the respect might last for like two minutes and and that can be because some people th there's this uh spectrum of like empaths and narcissists and i've been also digging deep into that the the empaths who who kind of look for outside validation all the time they are the prey for the other side of the spectrum who are looking for energy to get so th that's like the the t perfect match i don't want to talk about like hard narcissists because uh, it's more of narcissistic traits in people and, and we all have them. It's like this selfishness and this unworthiness and, and we kind of try to fix it by controlling stuff or we try to fix our, our empath wounds by being of service and, and looking for acceptance because that's what we think we need. And, and these things are really vulnerable inside. Once you start accepting these, once you start speaking about these, they kind of rise to the surface and it's super scary. Like a few years ago, I wouldn't ever have thought that I would make a video like this, but now it's more like I don't have a choice. I need to let it out. And I, I feel the, the time is now, the world is changing and uh, the more people start talking about it, the more awareness these things will get. And the only thing that will kind of resolve these issues is shedding awareness on it. Because once you see something, you can't unsee it. And that's when you start making different choices. Once you understand that you don't have any boundaries, you start thinking like, oh, but wow, okay. Now I draw boundaries and, and then you see what happens and there's probably going to be tension. There's probably going to be people who don't like that you do that. And, and that's going to reassure like, oh, they were in this kind of game only because they were gaining stuff. So creating boundaries around yourself and, and your own work is kind of the test of, of seeing who actually loves you because love is based on on freedom like unconditional love it's about acceptance but there's this twisted thing and i thought that that love was about kind of controlling and being together we need to be we need to need each other and that's what love is once two people who need each other go into this and then we can just be in this but that's totally bullshit. Once you find this idea of love being freedom and acceptance and you accept someone for who they are because you accept yourself for who you are with all your traits and yes, you can think about it and, and go deeper into yourself of what you really want to do. But essentially acceptance also of your shadow that's another thing if you read about like Carl Jung and and the psychology it's like you can only become whole if 
you go through your shadow, you accept it, and then you integrate your shadow into your kind of ego and personality. And that's when this yin yang happens and you become complete from the inside. You accept that you also have the dark side. You accept that you also have negative traits and that's fine. Then once you accept that, you have the choice to focus on the positive side and the dark side only makes the light side a good thing because if there isn't this polarity then nothing is good or bad and everything just is and it's empty so i know this might go a little bit deep but this is how i think and how i feel and and what i've been focusing on lately really going deep into myself and and also because i want to build a business i want to participate and and bring something into this world and i realized that self-awareness is the first key if you want to build a business or a brand without going deep into yourself you're just gonna build another thing to kind of run away with and and be like yeah yeah i'm just gonna be so busy building this business that i don't have to take care of myself and my inner wounds and my emotions and and whatever that's not i don't want to participate in that i don't want to build false vehicles to people where, where people can escape themselves so my mythology is to kind of first go deep and, and understand your deeper needs and why you even want to do what you want to do and then once you have that clear you can build a really awesome and beautiful business because it comes from a place of love. It comes from a place of passion and purpose. What you actually want to spend your life doing? In my opinion, it all starts with self-worth and understanding your self-worth. Where it is. Is it like fully? Are you fully aware of yourself and uh, you acceptive of yourself and, and that you even can love the dark parts of yourself? This is when your self-worth will instantly it, it goes like this and it will instantly like rise so this video was just a clear breakout of what i've been keeping inside and all my realizations and i hope you really got something out of it and if you need help you can always comment or send me a message on x and uh yeah I think these things need more awareness and I just want to say that you're enough. You are enough just by being alive. And when you stop, you can close your eyes and be like, oh, this is it. You've come home. Like the moment now. And when you understand this, that you're enough in the moment, it actually feels like you're coming home. This is something I want to share with the world and uh, i hope you share this video with with anyone who could benefit from this yeah that's that's it from this ranty video and uh, greetings from bali my name is mitz if you're new to my channel please subscribe yeah comment what you think i'll see you in a future video you're worthy